Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology lessons. Today, I will be discussing about the anti-Parkinsonian drugs. So, firstly, we, have, we should have a very quick gist as to what is Parkinson's disease. So, Parkinson's disease is basically a progressive degenerative disorder which is mostly affecting the older people, characterized by extrapyramidal motor disorder, which is characterized by rigidity, tremors, and hypokinesia. So, here I have made it much easier in the form of the features of Parkinsonisms. Can I have made it simpler in the form of the first three letters of Parkinsonisms as P, A, and R. That is Parkinsonisms P, A, and R. So, here on looking at the clinical presentations, the first P stands for paucity of movements, which is in medical terms called as bradykinesia. A stands for the abnormal movements, that is coarse tremors and abnormalities of posture and gait. And R stands for rigidity. So, these are the clinical presentations of the Parkinson's patient. Now, we, have, we should have a quick look at the causes which leads to Parkinson's. So, first cause is the first P stands for the primary neuronal degeneration, which is the, seven, in, which is the most common cause. That is in 75% of the cases of, in Parkinson's, it is the primary neuronal degeneration, which is occurring in the brain also called as the Parkinson's disease or the paralysis adjutants. The A, we can better remember A as after encephalitis and anti-dopaminergic drugs can also precipitate in the form of Parkinsonism. Examples, the anti-dopaminergic drugs which can cause Parkinsonism Examples are the chlorpromazine, haloperidol, and metaclopramide. So these drugs if, can also lead to Parkinson, Parkinson's disease. So the R here, in the case of causes, R, another cause for Parkinson's is, the are as such includes R, the rare causes. The rare causes mostly include examples are Wilson's disease and some Toxins and rare syndromes can also lead to the development of Parkinsonisms. So here up till now we have covered for Parkinsonisms, the clinical presentation and the causes. Now we move on to the drugs which are used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. So the drugs which have a therapeutic effect include another, I have all summarized it in the form of PAR of the Parkinson's. So the first drug, the first treatment line, the first drug what is used in the treatment of Parkinson's is the pro-drug of dopamine that is levodopa is usually given along with peripheral decarboxylase inhibitors. So I can easily mark out this P stands for the another for the mnemonic can be rem remembered as P for the prodrug of dopamine and P for the peripheral decarboxylase inhibitors. The drugs include carbidopa and benzazide. Alright, so the first P of the Parkinson's PAR can be used to recollect the first category of drugs that is the prodrug of dopamine, levodopa, and the peripheral decarboxylase inhibitors, that is carbidopa and benzazide. Next, A. The drugs, this category of drugs comprises of the anticholinergic drugs. The very common, the very famous examples include trihexyphenidyl and diphenhydramine. And Another category which can be used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease are the agonists of dopamine receptors, that is bromocryptine. R. 
because this class of drugs comprises of those, those drugs which are re going to release dopamine that is releasing dopamine the very famous example is the amentadine and another category which can be recollected as which can be memorized in the form of retarding dopamine degradation by maob inhibitors that is monoamine oxidase b inhibitors example is selegiline so here I have summarized anti-Parkinsonism, anti-Parkinsonian drugs in three categories. First is the Parkinson, Parkinsonism, its clinical presentation, the causes of Parkinsonism and the drugs which are used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease under the very common famous common mnemonic. The first three letters of Parkinson's as P, A and R. Under these three things I have summarized the entire the clinical presentation the causes as well as the drugs which are used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease if you do like my video please do subscribe and press the bell icon for further updates